What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, this time we have a mini giveaway. Now, will this one generate the hype that I think the other one did not yet? Because I think the other one is already over 2,000 comments, so if you haven't done it yet, I'll try to put it up in the top corner, go enter the first giveaway. But if you want a chance to win an early game account, now this is one if you're like a newer player and you're just looking to get a head start on the game, you don't wanna build all the heroes yourself, get a decent core, this account is for you. If you're more interested in end game stuff, not so much. But if you guys do hit that subscribe button, make sure you enter all the giveaways so far because like I said, we're like 800 subs away. I know we can do it this week. Let's see what we can do. So this account here, as you guys can see, is one that sat for a very, very long time. Literally, probably like two to three years. Why? Because Tix is the most powerful hero with a Punisher. If you guys want to know what Idle Heroes was like in 2020, this is what Idle Heroes prime idle heroes in 2020 was honestly i still think 2020 was one of the best years uh, of enjoyment and content there ever was uh, pushing to death 100 was absolutely the main goal and you wanted heroes like Tix, penny sherlock and yes ada ada was actually one of the best heroes at the time to push for death one actually i think class gear was the best i don't think we even had resonance gear at that point I think we just had class gear was the best way to run these. Of course, running a split gear setup on Ada, I think, was normally the way to go here. You do this and you run like uh, like an HP type setup with her. But that was the way you got to Death 100. I'm intrigued. Yes, we are in Death 100. Purgatory is unlocked. I wonder when that happened. 2-22-2021. Yep, that sounds like an absolutely accurate date um, for when that point was actually reached. Now, there's probably a bunch of achievements in here that we can claim out because, well, like I said, this has been sitting for a long time ever since, uh, yeah, probably, I, I mean, literally we have the comeback packages if you're looking to do anything, but the nice thing is you get the comeback growth package to really like kind of boost you up, and of course, you have the three times reward. So this one, I really want to get in your hands as fast as possible. Honestly, yeah, it looks like we got a decent amount of rewards just chilling in the bag as well. We got crystals, we got some star spawn stuff. I imagine this one is not very far in a lot of these. Yeah, Pioneer. We're not very far in a lot of these game modes here. Rewards-wise or supplies-wise, we were getting close to a first Transcendence Hero, which is nice to see. Uh, there's some decently saved up there. Wow, 2,091 Universal Crystal Shards. That means you're going to be able to help power up your account pretty quickly. I can't imagine there's many star spawn yet. At this point, we're like, there's just what you, the only way you can get star spawn, not even really spending can supercharge your star spawn acquisition. It's time. Time is the biggest thing. And also because of that, because it has been sitting, I'm guaranteeing that the Cloud Island, yeah, we don't even have someone the full V4 right now, do we? No, we're close. We're getting there. Literally just the last node needs a couple more points put into it, and then you'll have a V4 hero. But this ticks was pretty much what cleared everything in the year 2020 and 2021. I think, what, mid-2020 is when Sword Flash came out? Or end of 2020? That was when the first Transcendence hero came out. Sword Flash made getting to Death 100 much easier, but even after Sword Flash came out... Tix was kind of the, still the go-to. Maybe they did have Resonance Gear at that time. Probably by 2021 is when Resonance Gear came out. So as far as artifacts go, let's see what we got. We got a Glittery Crown, an Antler's Cane. We have a Glittery Punisher Staff. And I mean, honestly, this looked pretty good back in the day. There's also a bunch of baby Tixes. I wonder if he's on a mim stave. No, no, okay, he cleared that tower. I was like, if he's on a mim stave, that would be pretty interesting. There's even the chapter system. So this account hasn't really even been active since the chapter system was out. So you even have a ton of resources coming your way from this. I mean, treasure train, that's not even going to be unlocked, is it? <laughs> Campaign, you're at 41-5. Tower, we're done. Sealand, oh, let's see what we have for 20s. Pretty good, just light and abyss needs to be done. The problem is, yeah, need to finish up building that Delacium. If you can get that Delacium built all the way up, then yeah, that'll be a good spot to be in. And then over here, 
maybe converting that bell rain into like a rustle or something or like a vulcan down the road that would probably be your best option to see lagos man oh this account probably did chinese new year and said you know what screw it i'm just sticking to my main account i'm not doing the extra accounts whatsoever uh there are some resources here uh, honestly though glory challenge is probably wide open yeah glory challenge there's so many resources to be had in glory challenge holy cow holy cow um and then the last thing monsters we got three of them to level 180 you're kind of working your way up there yeah it's, it's a work in progress for sure uh but you do have some monsters there's one more thing i was gonna look at and i can't remember exactly what it was oh just resources that's right chest uh so we have like some older chests yeah this pretty old fray is the newest copy in here you still got the rookie selection chest not a ton to be had in here whatsoever and there is a demon bell floating around in here hey it's the emerald butterfly that was like our mascot for uh <laughs> For Jason way back in the day honestly not a bad force artifact back in the day when speed was like needing to be acquired uh, equipment not really much and definitely nothing when it comes to cores of origin but there is a decent stockpile of like star spawn cores and stardust so you can start ramping that up and then of course you'll have the super wishing coin for the new monthlies which have those no we still don't a long timer on this uh lots of quests saved up so you're good there so yeah, I mean, this is a pretty decent starter account, I'd say that. Now, again, I, I don't imagine you guys are really going to go crazy on this one. But if you want an opportunity to win this, the keyword is most definitely going to be ticks. Leave any comment down below with just the word ticks. Put Make a sentence. Make a funny sentence. I like to read all of them. Although, 2,000 comments on the other video was pretty insane. So, uh, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not reading all the comments at this point, but if you want a chance to win this one, leave ticks in a comment down below. Make sure you guys subscribe because I like I checked the other day and the number was still a little off. But now we've got a lot more subscribers. We have what? 40% of people are not subscribed. So we literally went up 4%. We went from 55% of viewers being subscribed up to 59.8. That is impressive. So, guys, if you guys have not done it yet, hit that subscribe button. Let's make that number, like, let's make it a 70-30 and not a 60-40 split. That would just be absolutely amazing, and I would appreciate the support, as always. And I'll keep trying to give you guys as many giveaways as possible. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.